In a mobile first world, our phones need to be people centric. Let's walk through how to reach the ease of access settings on Windows Phone. Click on the settings page, then scroll down through settings until you get to ease of access, where it gives you a number of features you can turn on or off, including adjusting text size. You simply use the slider to get the text size to what works best for you. High contrast mode changes the brightness of the text and changes some backgrounds to increase their legibility. Narrator is a screen reader similar to that on Windows 8 and will read aloud the text on the screen. The Narrator Quick Launch allows you to turn it on with a hotkey by pressing and holding the Volume Up button while at the same time holding the Start button. The Screen Magnifier allows you to double tap with two fingers to magnify the screen. Once magnified, you can change the zoom levels by double tapping with two fingers and holding to pan up or down. Some websites don't allow you to zoom dynamically, so the Zoom on All Web Content feature allows you to zoom in or out on a web page by having Internet Explorer override that setting. A few of the other features include speech for phone accessibility. This actually announces the person or phone number of the person calling. TTY TDD options also exist if you are using the phone with a hearing aid. You also have a number of options to turn on captions for videos in your web browser. Those are all of the options with the ease of access settings, but there is a second set of options under speech in the settings menu. By default, you can press and hold the search button to use speech. There are a few additional options here, including the ability to choose how incoming text messages are read. You have the option to choose the speech voice as well as the language. And lastly, you can choose to make it so that you can use speech when the phone is locked. Hopefully, this gives you a better sense for some of the many ease of access features in current Microsoft products. As these scenarios illustrate, people-centric technology is not just about creating solutions for people with disabilities, but rather applying that technology in a way that creates a more responsive user experience for everyone in our mobile-first world.